Well, morning everyone. What the hell is this stuff? Friggin' nuts, right? Yeah, it rained all the way home from heavy rain slash sleet, snow mix, to misty stuff, to, well, that. Friggin' crazy. We don't need these kind of temps or this kind of moisture right now. Okay, not sure what happened there, but I lost you guys. Anyways, we ended up with an inch and a quarter of rain. And I don't know what this snow's going to accumulate to. But we don't need this. Uh, I'm going to grab, uh, put out some feed for the cattle here and... I'm going to run a couple bales of straw or something out for the calves to give them a dry place to lay down. Just got to grab a, grab a scraper, squeegee thingy. Clean the windows off the tractor and we'll bring you guys back after I'm, after I'm done or so. Talk to you then. Hello guys, how's it all going today? There we are. Smile, babe. You're on candid camera. It's been a day. It's been a day. Guys, it's only noon. What do you mean? What's going on? Oh, just fired up the old Dodge here. We're going to go over to the neighbors and look at a fencing job. Uh, not exactly sure what's involved, but we're going to go check it out. Whether we actually do it or not, I have no idea. But knowing my wife, knowing the neighbor, nice we'll end up doing it. But I have no idea what's involved. So we're going to go investigate and we'll come back and get our tools, whatever is required, and I'll bring you all along for the ride. Talk to you later. Alrighty, guys. Well, we uh, went and looked at that fence, and well, to be honest, I think it's a fucking joke what the lady wants done, but hey, not my choice. Um, anyways. What the heck is this here all about? This here is a grill guard. Uh, bolts into your tow hook area for a Ford truck. So anybody out there with like a, I should get a hold of old straight pipes. This should bolt right onto his Ford truck. There it is, just like a soul. But yeah, if I can get about 150 bones for this sucker, it would be, I think it's worth all of that. And it just bolts right in, simple and sweet. But anyway, anybody looking for a grill guard for their Ford truck, I got one sitting here. Talk to y'all later. Alrighty guys, so I got a text message saying that the fence has been checked over and it's good to go around our rented pasture. The landowner deals with the fence on the rented land. So he got the fence all checked over. And there, you can see in the mirror, we're loaded up with some crowd panels so that we can haul some shitters over there. Alrighty, we'll get over there and uh, work at setting up somewhat of a holding pen and we'll bring you guys back later. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Normally we set our panels up and I have the McCormick with tines and grapple, but this time all we got is the lip right there. So, I think we're going to end up using a chain to set them into place. At least the first couple I'll be able to grab with the lip. But towards the end for the fine tuning, we'll have to use a chain and just manpower. Anyways, uh, 
I'll let you guys go in a back in a minute. And there, we got ourselves a holding pen. Six curl panels, ought to do the trick. We got this one light panel with the gate on the end. So we'll just back up to here to unload. And then when all the animals are here, it'll be a little snug in here for them, but not bad. Then all we do is unchain it at that corner swing the wire gate inside open that up and let the cows into the bush pasture out there yahoo yahoo what day are we hauling the cows over here i'm not sure possibly possibly tomorrow we'll see what happens anyway now to get this thing started and get the heck out of here and get home and we got to set up a loading chute at home. So I'll let you guys go and we'll yammer at you all later. Yeah, it's kind of noisy in here, guys. So what the hell are we doing? Well, I'll tell you. We've got, we had, when we sorted these cows a week ago, we had something like eight cows that were still left to calf. And we put them back in this group that is going to rented pasture. And the reason we put them in here, because we didn't want them going out to our big bush pasture area at home. And then we figured, well, we'll just sort those eight off again. Well, that's exactly what we're doing right now. We're sorting those eight off. We basically got them all, but I didn't bring my list to the barn, nor did CP. And she just went to the house. I'm pretty sure it's 44, but I'm not 100% sure. So she went to the house to get our list to make sure we get the right god darn cow, right? So anyway, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then those ones. If this is the right cow, she's the last one that has to get cut out. The, other, the others are in front of the barn. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And I think there's another one way back there for 25. Uh, so I thought we had 25 cows sorted off anyways. Anyways, it doesn't really matter if it's 24, if it's 25, or even if it's 20. And she's trapped in here. She can't get out. I've got it pinned. So yeah. So I'll just hang tight until CP gets back. And then uh, we'll double check our list and go from there. Talk to you guys later. Alrighty guys. How you doing this morning? Monday, May 22-ish. It's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful morning. Come on out and see. It's a beautiful morning. Why don't you all take a ride with me? Should we start writing songs? I don't think so. What's going on? Well, to be honest, She's cow hauling day. Uh, we got to sort groups of cows because we can't take like 25 head in one shot. So we'll have to sort uh, eight, nine cows at a time. Maybe 10.
CP's just getting the tractor out of the way from the loadout chute. But maybe 10 cows. And uh, start hauling them over to our rented land. Hey, babe, are my gloves in there? Awesome. And CP sprung a leak. CP sprung a leak. Yeah. Look at that. Piece of shit. Oh, these are the greatest boots. Look, they're so good. Junk. They're junk now. They sprung a leak. Now she's wearing a plastic bag around her foot on the inside of her boot. Anyway, uh, we got a couple cows that are missing an ear tag. And we've got it figured out what their proper tag should be. So those girls will have to get a tag put in their head. Uh, as we're loading, we'll run them through the chute and get them done that way. Anyway, I'm going to let you all go. And we'll bring you all back here in a little bit. Talk to you later. Well, it's a whole hell of a lot quieter in here with the two loads out of here. All the calves are gone. And we got 11 cows. And I can't take 11 in one trip so i gotta sort split them so like five and six type of thing which is fine that's uh all doable so these two and then three more from that other group or four more either either Okay, girls, come on. Let's go. Come on. Okay, I'll sort these girls and I'll bring you guys back in a few minutes. Talk to you later. There, we got six in here. Or five in there, whatever, something like that. So, one more trip and we're done. Are we having fun? Yep. Awesome. Okay, guys, I'll bring you back when we go to unload. Talk to you. One more. Come on, old ready. There. Six more to go. Last trip. We'll bring you guys all back when, uh, we get them all here and we go to turn them out in there later so now we just gotta undo these two chains and get up there and go this way two five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen twenty twenty one twenty two 24. One little guy laying down over there. He's just a happy go lucky camper.
There. We got happy cows now. There was no water in there last year. In here. Yeah, there was no water in this spot last year. In this paler green type area that that cow's walking through right there. That was all dry. They're walking through water even right through here. They're hungry because we didn't feed them yesterday or last night. Mm, so. But this will get them filled up and they'll be happy campers again. We got the moisture here to make the grass grow get a good week two weeks of sunshine that's going to make a huge be a huge impact on uh how this grass really grows right walk through the water clean our boots all the shit off of them mind you i gotta scrape the trailer out so but anyway that's 24 less animals that we got to feed Okay, babe, I think that's the end of this video. What do you think, huh? You got the gate back there? My gate? <laughs> what do we call it? Are you having issues? Yeah, it's hooking up the panel. What do we call it? Here, give me that thing. Just wait. No, no, no. It's hooking in the panel. Here. Here. I gotta pull the steel panels in the way. Or push. Yeah. Anyway, guys, gonna let you all go. We'll talk to you guys uh, sometime tomorrow. Okay. Later.